I called it. I called it. I called it. When I went to go see King Richard, which was probably one of my favorite movies of 2021, I called it in my review. You can go back and look at it and see the Oscar right there in the thumbnail. And I said, is this finally Will's year? Like that was literally right there on the thumbnail. I said, he has got to get the Oscar for this one. And tonight on Sunday, March 27, 2022, after a very long standing career and two Oscar nominations, Will Smith has finally taken home the Academy Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role for his role of Richard Williams in the movie King Richard, which if y'all have not seen that movie by now, you need to go ahead and do yourself a favor and go and watch that film. It is going to make you it's going to make you laugh. It's going to make you cry. It's going to be a big ball of emotions. It's a really, really good movie. Everybody who was a part of that film did a very, very good job. And one thing I've noticed about when Will gets nominated for Oscars, at least in the past, because he got nominated for Ali in The Pursuit of Happiness, is he never got nominated for a stereotypical negative role. Because, you know, they like to give Oscars out to people, but to black people for playing a stereotype. We've seen that time and time again. But, you know, he's gotten nominated for mainly playing positive roles, uplifting roles and one thing I can say about Will Smith is he is going to do his best. If he had to do a biopic or someone, he's going to do his best to portray the part to the best of his ability. And he did a very good job of playing Richard Williams, especially since, you know, it was controversy behind the film, not the film itself, but because you had a lot of these feminists to all head talking about. Well, this movie supposed to be about Venus and Serena. Why are we seeing something about their dad? Like that really pissed me off when I saw people write think pieces and whatever, when it came to that. But put all that to the side will smith won award season he literally won pretty much every award that he was nominated for i can't think of one that he lost and he won the big one tonight and with that being said to will smith i congratulate you for winning this role you had a very long-standing career and it doesn't appear you're going to slow down at any time soon however now that we got this part out of the way because here I am thinking I'm only going to talk about this, but oh no, we got to talk about something else that happened before this. Hold on. Now, y'all know I was going to bring this up. So in case y'all did not watch the Oscars, which I would not be a surprise if you didn't, but many of you who did not watch it definitely heard about this. I saw it happen in real time because I was why the only reason I was watching is because I was standing up to see if he was going to win the Oscar. And, you know, when it comes to his category, his is all the way at the end. So it kind of forces you to have to watch it. But I turned it off after um, his part was done. So uh, Chris Rock came up to present an award. I forgot what category he was presenting the award for. And he was making like jokes to different people in the audience and everything like that. But then he got to Jada and Will because Jada was there with Will. And he made a joke about Jada about her hair. Now, in case y'all don't know, Jada has actually spoken out publicly that she has alopecia, which is basically hair loss. It's uncontrollable hair loss. It can either be temporary or can be permanent. And it, you can't do anything. That's why she has the low cut. But, you know, back then, Jada was rocking the low cut a lot, but that was voluntary for her to do so. But now her hair is like it just fell out. So she has to rock the, the pretty much the ball, damn near the baldy. It was a low cut. But he made a joke comparing her or saying she's going to be in the next G.I. Jane movie. If you don't know what G.I. Jane is, it's a movie that came out in the 90s with Demi Moore, where she was a woman in the uh, military. She was in the men's military. This is back before they really allowed women to be in the military. Well, they, they could be in the military, but it was still a lot of restrictions behind. It's not as freeing, not freeing, but it's not as inclusive, I should say, as it is today. And she was rocking the low cut, much like how Jada has her hair now. And he made a joke saying that she's going to be in the next G.I. Jane in the G.I. Jane 2 movie. And she kind of looked at Will and then rolled her eyes like she cut her eyes back at Chris Rock. Like she cut them eyes hard. If you watch the clip, you'll see it. And then Will all of a sudden went up on the stage and slapped Chris Rock. As you can see right here, he has an open hand and slap Chris Rock, and that's Chris Rock's reaction. Now, many people are questioning, was this slap real or was it staged? But 
if you go back and you look at the clip and you see Will's face, he has this look on his face like he is pissed. And then on the American telecast of the show, it's muted out what he says. But if you can read lips, he says, keep your keep your M F N. No, keep my wife's effing name out your mouth now people posted up the unedited version of the clip online um i think a lot of people overseas were able to get it some because i saw a lot of people who posted that said they were in australia and said over here in australia they didn't they didn't mute the clip they didn't mute the telecast because this was a live feed they said they did not mute it and you could actually hear him say those words now you gotta say to yourself if this was staged why would they mute that and they had this thing muted for a good minute or two like you can hear nothing and i even saw right there when i was looking at it that the clip not the clip but the um the broadcast started to freeze a little bit like they had to go to a like a delay or something like that and kind of loop something to try to clear all of that up and then when it got back to chris rock he was shaking a little bit like he didn't like he had if you saw the energy that chris rock had when he was first coming out on stage and doing the jokes and everything to the people in the audience, his tone and demeanor completely changed up after Will slapped him. Like he went from high energy to sounding like someone who just lost a loved one. He literally like went into a position where not only that, but he started to like kind of stumble over his words when all he had to do was read a teleprompter. So was this staged or did this really happen? Like, was this for real? Because it looked pretty real to me. And keep in mind, Will Smith actually had to check a white reporter a, a few years ago. Y'all know what I'm talking about. When that white reporter overseas, I forgot what movie he was promoting. Leaned in and uh, kissed Will Smith. And the, and Will Smith was like, like dude. And you kind of kind of popped him in the mouth. You know how a parent does to a child when they uh, uh, talking kind of crazy. You got to pop him in the mouth one time. And that's what he did. He's like, dude, what the F is wrong with you? People forget Will Smith is from West Philly. He did not grow up in Hollyweird. He did not get out to Hollyweird until like around Fresh Prince or in his uh, his rap career, which at that time he was still a teenager in his upper teens at that. So you got to think this guy is from the hood. He is not from the glitz and glam that he is used to now. He did, he did not grow up in the same environment that his kids grow up in. So he was quick to, he'll check you. Just like I did that video about, not the video, but that live stream that I did on my live stream channel when Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson and Catherine Jackson had to check them people in that van, you know, after his trial back in 05. They from Gary, Indiana. They will check you. Don't mistake a lot of these individuals like they won't do nothing. So I'm leaving it up to y'all. Do you think this was staged or it was real? Me, I think it was real. Because all you got to do is look at Chris Rock's demeanor before he said it, after he said it, and you make and you make the correlation for yourself. People, man, this thing instantly started trending on Twitter after it happened. People was asking what happened, and now they said or they're calling it the slap. Like people are going to be talking about this probably for the next week, and then some. This right here has earned a spot for what the f moments. Of 2022 it is probably going to be in the top five probably damn near number one but then again we got a lot more year to go and continue with but man this was this was wild right here but like i said i'll let y'all determine what <laughs> what came of this but y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments like share subscribe if you are new make sure you hit that bell to be notified when i upload a new video or go live